What's up YouTube? Carlo here. Welcome to the vlog. This is the channel where we talk about sneakers and tech. And I don't know if you've noticed, if you've been a long time viewer, I used to have like a Batman figure somewhere here. It's been covered by boxes. <laughs> Today is a triple unboxing vlog. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please make sure that you do so. We are giving away a brand new Yeezy 350 Boost sponsored by Shoe Freak PH. We're also giving away a Nike Epic React Flying It the moment to hit 30,000 subscribers. Subscribe now. Follow me on IG. And if you've already subscribed, if you're already part of the 7 to 1 squad, share this video on Facebook. These three boxes to my right are new shoes, so we will be unboxing them for this video. Let's get to it. First up is my first ever sneakers from the Chinese brand Lin Ning. So this is the brand that signed up Dwayne Wade for life. Woo! For life! For life! So... <laughs> It's, I think it's a very lucrative deal for him, so good on him. Now, this is the, his lifestyle sneaker. I think it's called The Trend or it's called like Culture Shoes. I, I forgot the exact name. But the reason why I copped this is because I've been always curious about Li Ning. And apart from that, the design really looks like a Balenciaga trainer. I mean, seriously. Uh, it is, <laughs> it's not a ripoff because it's a different brand. It's just that the, the feel and the look is kind of similar but still distinct at the same time. So this is how the sneakers look like. You have that sock-like knit upper with dashes of beige or light brown all over the sneaker. You have a very thick and generous rubber outsole and midsole that you have here covering the bottom of the shoe. You have a very generous pull tag here at the back which is very helpful especially if you have sneakers like this which are dominantly sock boot like construction because you need to be able to pull on this so that it's easier for you to put your feet in the shoe. You have the branding and other markers here, very off-white when it comes to the feel. And yeah, more or less, that's it. I was able to wear this while I was fitting it. Fortunately, they had size 12 over at the athlete's foot. They're selling this at consignment. Uh, it's much more comfortable than it looks. And I'm excited to be able to wear this in this week so I can get back to you guys with the full review. Cop this one for a little over 7,800 pesos. Ouch! Next up, let's go New Balance, baby! This is the New Balance 247 Premium Edition sneaker. The one that I showed you guys earlier where I did the review, that was more their, I think that was their casual, you know, general version which sold for a little less than 5,000 pesos. This one is a little more expensive. Sold under 7,000, around 6,900 pesos. So why is it more expensive? It has more inclusions and the materials are far more premium compared to the original. So this is what the shoe looks like. And it comes right off the bat, you can see that it comes with different colored laces which match the color of the accents on the outsole. It's dominantly black. It has leather panels, premium leather panels with the New Balance logo on both the lateral and the middle side. And the fourth, the toe box has a rib type of execution which is very different compared to the usual uh, 247 that we already did the review on. Link down below just in case you guys haven't seen that yet. Now this one, I'm excited to review. Please do watch out for the full review in the coming days because I'm really starting to get into this new balance thing. Uh, especially since the 247 Tritium pack came out. These shoes are hella fire and I just love how well made they are. Quick tip, if you guys are shopping for new balance sneakers, if you have a BPI debit or credit card, you can get them at a whopping 20% off over at the Athlete's Foot. So just check out any Athlete's Foot branch. I usually shop over at their branch at Power Plant Mall and use your BPI credit or debit card, get a discount. This is not sponsored by BPI, not sponsored by Athlete's Foot. 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 That's just how much I love you bringing all of this news. Last but not the least, this is the collaboration between Saucony and a sneaker retailer based out of New Zealand. Uh, New Zealand, sorry, Las Vegas called Feature. So this is the Feature Saucony collab living fossil for the Shadow 6000 silhouette. As you guys can see, this box is hella sick. I mean, seriously, all green with the fossil bone type thing going on over here. It even has some like information on the dinosaur that it's supposedly a fossil off on the side. It's the Ichi Ichthyosaurus. Yeah, I think it's like the New Zealand official dinosaur or something. So yeah, you pull it out. And then you have like a plastic cover with the logo, wow, with the fossilized logo of Saucony. Very sick, very nice looking. Let's pull it out. This, by the way, is the sneaker that I decided to buy in lieu, in lieu instead of uh, the green marble NMD that came out. That one was just ridiculously overpriced. 
at 10,000 pesos. Yeah, it has prime mid, but come on, 10,000 pesos. Now, this one just sold for 7,000 something, and it looks hella sick, hella fire. I mean, seriously, guys, look at that. The all green build, the different shades of green, the suede and the nubok construction. You have the gradient thing going on for the midsole. Uh, it just looks so sick. And you have that hologram thing for the three dots on both the lateral and the middle side that Saucony usually uses for their logo. So I just love how they did the treatment on that as well as the strip here at the back. What's even more amazing is how the tongue tab looks with that fossilized kind of look and feel. I am so happy that not a lot of people you know, are buying unhyped sneakers because this one just sat on the shat. This one just sat on the shelf and I was able to pick it up. No raffle, no ha no hassle. So yeah, it pays to be able to look at other brands. The world is not just about Nike and Adidas. The world is not just about the crazy off-white collaborations. There are a lot of fantastic sneakers from brands such as Saucony, Lining, New Balance, all great shoes that won't break the bank, that are classic, timeless, and even hella fire. And can I just say, this has one of the best boxes for sneakers for the year. If I ever did like annual sneaker awards, this would win or at least be in the running for the best packaging. For those who are interested in getting the Living Fossil Saucony collab, it's available at the Nines over at BGC, one of the nicer sneaker and streetwear stores. They carry Champion, Carrot, and a bunch of other brands from streetwear as well as sneakers. Check them out, the Nines, Uptown Mall, BGC. And that's actually it for this vlog. I hope you guys found it fun. Uh, it's not often that they get the... the and that's it for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed the triple unboxing of all of the three sneakers. I just realized that the shoe boxes have really covered Batman now on this side. Maybe it's only a matter of time before... The, I think that's the Witch King and Gandalf the White over here on the left side get covered as well in sneaker boxes. I hope you're all having a great week. Peace. God bless. Take care of yourselves. Peace out.